Hey, how's it going? I hope everyone had an amazing Christmas. I had a great one. I ate food, then watched Jumanji, then watched Home Alone. Solid. Today I'm going to be doing a haul video for all the stuff that people brought me over Christmas and they got me some awesome stuff and then also all the stuff that I brought myself when I should have been buying other people presents but instead I brought all the stuff for me because I'm a selfish piece of shit. <sighs> also I tried to be festive five days late by wearing this Christmas hat and putting tinsel on the sofa. I'm trying. I'm going to try and show the stuff really quite fast paced because uh, there's quite a bit of it, and I don't want this video to be like an hour and somewhat long. Um, I tend to give items very long backstories, which they don't really need. But um, I like to talk a lot, which you can tell now, and, and we're just going to start. Go. Chop. So we'll start with Tachion Project. Is that how you say this name? I don't know. I'm a huge collector for the PSV era, and this is a limited edition game for that system. So it was on my high up on the list that I was like, here, if you want to get me some it, look at this list. Next up is another limited edition PS Vita game, which is Semi Semispheres. It's a puzzle game, I think. It looks really cool. In all honesty, I just wanted it to have with my PS Vita collection, and I will probably check this out at some point in the future because the backlog is too big. The next game is Attack on Titan, and I'm absolutely obsessed with this game. It's so much fun. I didn't think it would work in a video game format, but it does. They pulled it off. Congratulations to Koei and Tecmo. They did an amazing job, and we're going to move on because I'm starting to ramble. Next is Nobunaga's Ambition. This seems really cool, it's a strategy game. I haven't really played one in a long time, so it'll be fun to play this at some point. Next is The Surge, which is a Dark Souls clone, so it'll be interesting to see how this plays and if I enjoy it or not. Then we have The Evil Within 2, which I'm super excited to play. I haven't actually played the first one myself, but I've watched it, people play it all the way through, and I've actually watched someone play it, this one all the way through, and it looks incredible. So I'm gonna play the first, then I'm gonna jump into this one. I'm really excited. This looks like a really fun game. Next is Prey. I've watched about half an hour of some gameplay footage of the beginning of the game. It looks really cool and interesting, so I'm quite excited to see where it goes uh, whenever I get around to playing it. And the last game that was bought for me was Far Cry Primal. Um, I've actually never played a Far Cry game and this one seems pretty cool and interesting. I saw some gameplay footage of this one as well. I kind of like the open world so I thought it'd be cool to check out a Far Cry game. If I like it, I'll make sure to pick up all the other ones as well. So that was it for games. I hopefully got through that quickly. Let's move on to all the other little figures and random stuff. Next up is this Naruto Funko Pop. He looks awesome, he's really cool, I like the poses he's doing and everything, and he looks great with the other Naruto Funkos I've got, so I'm really happy to have this one. What are the ones I've wanted for quite a long time? Next is a little Wonder Woman figure. I got Cyborg and Aquaman as well, but I'll just show them up close. There's no point me like showing you each one of these separately. Um, really cool, simple. The only thing I don't like is the box. Next is these little marble bobbleheads. People know me very well. People really need these little stocking filler type things to get for me because I love Marvel and DC. You get me anything Marvel and DC, I'm gonna be happy. This is cool. Next, these small little marble figures. These are really cool. I got six different characters all together. I'll show them all separately, but we have Hawkeye and the Beast. And I don't know, they're really cool. They're simple, but I like them. I got a pen which has a light on it. It's a Wonder Woman pen with a, a Batman light or something. It's cool. I probably won't take it out of the thing. Next is this Tomb Raider Playouts figure. Probably my favourite thing I got this Christmas potentially. 
Um, she's really awesome, she's really cool, it opens up like that and she's just there. I don't take her out of the box though because apparently she breaks super easily. All I've seen of reviews of this is just people like, her leg snapped off, oh her arm fell off, oh her head's gone. I, I don't want that. that, that's that's not a fun time, you know. Probably my favourite piece is this Buffy library set. This thing's really hard to get a hold of. I got this brought from me about two months ago for Christmas because it popped up in the market and I was like, shit, I need that, someone please. And, and so I did. And the last bit is this Buffy calendar, which I'm probably gonna keep sealed because I'm a Buffy freak and I don't like like disrupting anything that's Buffy if I can help it because freak. Last is this Buffy figure of Tara from the episode Hush. I actually didn't have it somewhere around me was like, you probably got this, but I'm just gonna check and you know what? I didn't have it. Shot. Now to move on to the stuff that I brought myself. Uh, there's not as much of it here as I thought there would be. It, there's still a lot. I, I definitely spent too much on myself when I should have been buying for others. But a bunch of stuff that I actually have brought um, hasn't arrived yet because Christmas and stuff. But I brought a shit ton of stuff and I shouldn't have. <laughs> the only game I've got to show off right now is Dark Souls 3. I bought this because I actually watched a YouTuber called Zero Doxy playing it and she made it just look so much fun and something I would really want to play and could get into. I played the first Dark Souls years ago and I played maybe the first hour and I just couldn't quite get into it. But uh, this one looks really cool, I'm hoping to get um, like sucked into its world. And then if I do, I'm probably going to get Bloodborne because I've heard so many people raving about that. Apparently it's a lot more fast paced than the Dark Souls games themselves. And I'm kind of someone who doesn't have a lot of patience. I like to just get in and, you know, chop and chop. Chop. Next is Bookmark. It's Buffy the Vampire Slayer. What more do I need to say? I buy anything that's Buffy the Vampire Slayer because I'm sad. And also because Buffy's cool. Next is this Joker Dob. This is my second Dob I've ever got and it's the first one I've ever brought for myself. But um, he was three quid, I think, from HMV. He was reduced, then he was reduced again, so he was super cheap. I don't know why I wanted rid of him, but I'm not, I'm not complaining. I'm kind of happy with the dude. He's weirdly cute to say he's like, you know, a serial killing psychopath. <laughs> I got this because I'm a huge Xenoware Princess fan and this first season is where she's like first introduced as a character and I've actually not seen it yet so I'm excited. Apparently there's three episodes so I'm probably going to watch this fairly soon and see where my favourite character first appeared. Next is this really awesome little buffy cartoony figure thing. Uh, I just found this randomly scrolling through eBay. Um, I got Angry Boys, the guy who does all the characters, he plays every character in the actual TV show, is called Chris Lilly, and he's hilarious, like he, he's created one of my favourite characters called Jemay. It's just, I can't explain it, if you've never seen Jemay Private School Girl or um, Summer Heights High, I really recommend you check it out. They're so funny, like he's he's fantastic, well, just brilliant, and, and I actually haven't seen this series yet, so I'm really excited to watch it, I got it for four quid or something. That's actually something about me, I'm really resourceful when it comes to money, I don't spend a lot. I get a lot, but I get a lot cheap. When a lot of people are paying like 50 to 60 pounds for a single game, which there's nothing wrong with, if you've got the money and you really want that game, get it. I don't, just, why not, literally, just why not? But for me, who doesn't really have the money to spend in one go 50 to 60 pounds, I can't justify it, especially when I'd probably put the game in my backlog and not play it for two or three months. Then when I finally go to play it, seeing it online and in shops, probably half the price if not less. I just don't see the point, so I tend to wait for games that I really want, or just items in general that I really want to go into the sale or go cheaper, and that's kind of how I do things. So I get a lot of stuff in one go, but I get a lot of stuff very cheap, like I pay for four pounds for this, three pounds for that, two pounds for this, six pounds for that. Like to me, spending ten pounds in one go, which is about maybe twelve, thirteen dollars, is a lot of money for me to spend in one go. That's just how I am. So 
I'm very money savvy, which is why I can get a lot of shit for a good price. I'm I'm all about the deals. I'm a cheap collector. <laughs> Next is this Harley Quinn pink version of the original figure. She's really cool. She was six quid and I believe she's a limited edition. So I thought that was a really good purchase and a price. This Batgirl Rock Candy hard figure. She's really cool. I really like her. Batgirl is probably one of my favorite characters just after Catwoman. So I'm really happy to own this one. Actually, I just remembered this. Actually, one item I have forgotten. I will go get that quickly. And the last item is this Catwoman bombshells figure. I don't think she's rock candy or anything like that. She's really cool. But I just want to point out, in case anyone forgot, it was, this isn't me bragging about stuff I got, this is just me, like, showing appreciation to other people who brought me really awesome things, and showing appreciation to myself for buying myself some very awesome things. I spent money I should not have spent. Anyway guys, thank you all for watching, if you did enjoy this video, please make sure to like, subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed, and follow me on social medias, links are in the description below. Thank you all for watching, you're amazing, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!